You know, look, obviously I'm very happy that Melvin is finished, okay? You know, it's a step in the right direction. We knocked him out LL Cool J style. I'm going to knock Melvin out. Mama said knocked him out, okay? Now we got to get Citadel. Um, you know, I actually, I, I know I say this a lot, but there are two other people besides Ken Griffin. Ken Griffin and Citadel that I really want, you know, the uh, Department of Justice. I got a little bit of a hiccup, so you got to forgive me. Um, that I want the Department of Justice to get on their bowls, okay? And that's Gary Gensler. And I have to tell you, you're going to be a little shocked with this one. Adam Aaron, okay? I just feel... Again, I know you're going to get upset at me. I know you're going to be, oh, my God, fun, fun. I'm not trying to create fun. But I just, you know what it is? If something smells like shit, it looks like shit, and it tastes like shit, not that you're going to eat it, but I'm just saying, it's probably shit. And there's just too many things that this guy is doing that I feel is shit. Okay, it's like we're all the way down, like what? We were down at one point. I believe we actually went up to 10 at one point. I think it was um, for, for a quick moment. I think we're like 980. We shot up to 14. We shot back down to 12. You know, this is a guy who cashed up, made $25 million for himself and his family for his retirement, sold at very high prices, sold in the 70s, sold in the 40s, sold in the 30s. I think that he owes it to us to give us an accurate account of how much AMC, the retail investor, the AMC apes actually own. Now, if he's going to come out and say, we still own 90%, something is rotten in Denmark. How the F-U-C-K can AMC be under $13 a share, at one point below $10 a share, if we own 90% of the float? So... This, this is what I'm trying to say. I feel like it's like a puzzle. I feel like it's all connecting the dots. You understand? You got you got to have Adam uh, Aaron answer for what's going on here. You know, who does he consider retail investors that, that own 90%? Okay. And if so, why is the price so low? Then you got to figure what's Gary Gensler doing? Okay. It, you know, it's like he's blindfolded. He's tied under the table. He is completely ignoring all of the corruption and all of the manipulation. The transparency rule should be including synthetics, okay? I don't give a shit about the real shares. I don't know about you. F the real shares. I want to know about the synthetics. Why are the synthetic, the synthetic shares hidden? Do you realize that Ken Griffin, that Citadel Connect, does not have to disclose how many fake shares, Fugazi shares, how many promissory notes that they're using. So basically, I mean, I hate to break this to all of you, they could be using an unlimited amount. They could be using hundreds of billions of fake shares to potentially trillions of fake shares. Why are why is the SEC, FINRA, the DTCC not getting on Citadel Connect's ass and demanding them to reveal their position. How many fake synthetic shares are you using? It's just this whole thing makes me physically sick. I get very angry. I, I get angry sometimes you don't know. Like the steam comes out of my damn friggin' nose and ears. It's just, I just don't understand. This is so effing unfair. It's like, why did they have the right to use fake shares? Why can't we use fake shares? Seriously, like, why can't I go to Gary Gensler and say, I want to buy the entire float of friggin' AMC 10 times over? He's like, uh, are you good for it, Rich? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got my word of honor. And why can't I do that? Why can't anybody do it? Why can't you do that? Why is it only the hedge funds? So I just feel like right now we really need to demand answers. We need to demand answers from Adam Aaron. We need to demand answers from Gary Gensler. We need to demand answers from the Department of Justice, from FINRA, from the DTCC. They got to start to let us know what is going on. Because if they come back once again, Adam Aaron, and he starts claiming that we own 90% of the float, something is rotten in Denmark. And I think it's time we got to get medieval on all of these uh, mother effers' uh, asses. I don't care what it is, protesting, 
You know, you're all against the other protest, all of you, all of you apes. Oh, it's going to delist AMC. They're going to infiltrate the event, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I just want to win. I want all of us to win. And I know everybody keeps saying that, you know, the stock, it, the stock market crash is going to cause the Moaz, but it hasn't happened. You know, we're supposed to be a, neg uh, a, a what was it, the a negative beta stock. Uh, that doesn't seem like that's true because we, we seem to be going in the same direction as the stock market. The stock market goes down, we go down. Stock market goes up, we, we go down. That's not the way it's supposed to be. If the stock market goes down, AMC is supposed to be going up. So, I mean, that's just how I feel about it. We need to start figuring out some kind of a way to express our voices, to express our frustration, and to put pressure and to hold people accountable, such as Adam Aaron. Do a better job. Do a share recount. Promote Top Gun. It's going to be the biggest movie probably for the whole year. Okay, why is Taiwan promoting Top Gun? Why is Applebee's promoting Top Gun? Why is our CEO, Adam Aaron, not promoting Top Gun? It's not doing, okay, he sends out a tweet. Oh, big deal, you send out a tweet. You should be offering some sort of motivation for people. You know, just promote it, you know. Think, think of something clever. Think of something clever, you know. Like, you want to hear something clever? You want to hear something clever? Get Tom Cruise to come down to one, to one of the AMC theaters and maybe do like a meet and greet with Tom Cruise. Just get people excited. Figure out something the way you did it with Nicole Kidman. Do it with Tom Cruise. Figure out something to create sizzle, to create steak, to create excitement. That's the eight father's feelings on it.